Hey there, friends. It's Chad from Colorado Giants. Today is May the 5th, and we're going to be talking about technology. <whistles> Stay tuned. Thanks for suffering through that intro. I'm not quite sure what that means in, in the realm of technology, but we're just going to say that means technology. Maybe it's, it's the future is kind of what that means for the purposes of our conversation today as I try to change arms. If you haven't done so today, please subscribe to the channel. It's the little button down there. Hit the bell. Post questions, like, all that jazz if you're so inclined. If you don't, I promise you ain't going to hurt my feelings. So I want to talk a little bit about technology and what I'm doing this year to try and free up some time for myself to just focus more on on the plants themselves and not necessarily you know uh, just kind of the, the intricacy day-to-day -day stuff if I can automate a lot of that then that will free up my valuable time just in case you don't know we are having our third child arrive in uh, probably July if I'm a betting man so my free my my limited free time is going to get even more limited as I try to set the phone down a little bit. Um, so what I want to do this year is, is try to automate a lot more. Um, that's part of the reason for the fabric. So we could start there. The fabric is a bit of technology that I'm using this year, be it very simple technology, but it's multifaceted in and that it will reduce the amount of weeding that I need to do as well as, uh, what else is it going to do? Weeding, um, water retention, disease prevention. So hopefully I'll get all of those benefits from the weed fabric this year. So that, that's like change number one. Uh, change number two are, are these guys right here. This is not a, a giant uh, golf tee or, or enema or anything along those lines, even though it looks like a giant golf tee, like the size of my arm for reference. This here is a Aqua Spy sensor specifically it has three sensors in this i think i can show you there we go so you see sensor three sensor two sensor one what that means what this will do is that at four eight and 12 inch increments it will tell me what the moisture percentage temperature and ec is in my soil so through the wonders of technology, that's gonna be a thing for the rest of the video, so get used to it. Um, I will be able to look at and see in real time what the moisture is in my soil. Funny thing is, I'm almost, I, I thought I ordered two of these things, but apparently I have three, and this is a different one, you'll just have to take my word for it. So I got three, I don't, I don't think I got three. Um, I was telling the people, I was, I was pandering for a freebie, I'll admit it, and I was trying to get a free one, so maybe they just tossed a free one in. I just sent an email to the guy and asked for uh, my, my invoice, so I can uh, check that out. So, being that I have three, I'm going to put one, I'm going to kind of put them in line, right down the middle in pumpkin number one, two, and three, <clears throat> um, so, that, so that I know, you know, what... Uh, what is the soil, what is, the, you know, what's happening in each plot because the soil structure is a little bit different in all of them, which will allow me to uh, modify or tweak my watering for each one of these, these areas. Granted, you know, what the watering, what, what all the parameters are over here versus over on this side might be a little different, so that's why I'm gonna go right in the middle also, if I put them right in the middle, chances are that my pumpkin's not going to kind of grow right there. So I won't have to move them because I really don't want to move them in the middle of the season. I'd like to get like some, some good consistent data. So that's really cool. I know that other people are using other ones. Um, me, and, uh, me and Ben are using these this year. I, I reached out to this company sometime in the winter they're they're pretty interested in what we were doing um so i know there's at least two of us that are using these 
Are they better than some of the other ones out there? Well, <laughs> I have no clue if I'm being honest with you, but we'll find out at the end of this year. Um, so that's pretty cool though, but that this one does EC. So the EC and the moisture percentage are the two things that I'm most interested in. And the fact that this does that at, at four different increments. So maybe I'm super, super dry at uh, eight inches down and I need to do a heavy watering to kind of drag some of that down that this will tell me on the app. Um, so that's super cool. That was, that was technology number two. Technology change number three is this guy right here. So this is an automatic, an automatic pH and EC controller. I say EC with a little bit of a caveat there. What this does is it has, it has probes. There we go that are right now, if I'm being honest, I was just kind of tinkering with it that are in a beaker full of water. Um, I haven't calibrated them yet. I was just threw it in there. I changed my pH. I adjusted my pH and I watered um, just now and it works really good. Um, but why this? What does it do? Great question. Technology. Uh, so this is going to, I'm going to take the probes, mount them in my watering um, buckets and it will automatically change the pH to what I want it to do through these dosing pumps. So this is uh, something out of the aquarium industry or actually even the medical industry uses these, but this is just unique in that it's, it's um, the interface is specifically for uh, hydroponics is what it's intended to do. This is a hydroponic system and we're going to get it to work for, for our needs. So it will be able to say, okay, you know, um, the tank's full at three o'clock. I wanted to start modifying and changing my pH from right out of my well. It's in the mid sevens. I want it to be 6.5. So, or it changes it to 6.5. I add some fertilizer, it jacks it back up to seven. Automatically, it will then take it back down to 6.5. So it has these two these two, uh, I don't know, nipples. And this is a little pump. So then it will draw up my pH adjustment solution and put it into the tank that I will have, uh, that I'll have circulating. So it always changes it. In addition to that, it can regulate the EC a little bit. So I can set it to do, you know, one tablespoon of, you know, or maybe not one tablespoon, but I don't know, uh, 100 milliliters, one ounce, one ounce of like Neptune's Harvest, um, one ounce of humic, uh, liquid humic, or even a liquid slurry of like uh, biologicals or something. So I can microdose those things every single day so that I don't have to worry about it. And that's going to be awesome. So that was technology number three. Technology number three and a half <coughs> is is that arrow mixer down there oh i thought i dropped my channel locks in the tank is the arrow mixer i was just hooking up the water for inside the greenhouse and i got my channel locks almost lost those forever uh so the arrow mixer it's actually pretty good that's like just three and a half it's just a pump um but i do gotta say the the hype is, is pretty real. I thought that might just be a bogus, uh, you know, nothing special, probably a decent product, but nothing that's kind of like, wow. Um, but it does really good. So pretty cool that Aero Mixer exceeds expectations in a world where most products, mm, we'll say come in lacking and uh, do not exceed expectations. Subtle product placement. <laughs> Uh, not sponsored, just great people. Uh, so I have one more thing technology wise that we're going to talk about that is going to help me this year, but it's inside the house. So be right back. So the last thing technology wise that we're mixing up <clears throat> in the greenhouse this year are some smart plugs. I have gotten these in the past and honestly, I've just never really used them. So I'm going to be utilizing smart plugs. Um, the past several years I've been using the GoV, like kind of V1 
um, temperature in hydrometer sensors. Uh, a couple of those died this winter, so I went to get some new ones. I see they have a new generation of temperature in hydrometer, so it just tells you the temperature and the humidity sensors. But then I got hit with that retargeting ad, and I got these Govi smart plugs. So let me bring that full circle for everybody so you understand what I'm trying to do. This year, I will be able to, in three different zones and outside, track the temperature and the humidity of the greenhouse in real time with a graph via my phone, even if I'm not home. Through a sprinkler timer, just a good old orbit sprinkler timer, I will be able to fill up my tanks that are on float valves. So I don't have to be home to fill up my tanks. Once the tanks are full, I will be able to um, automatically adjust the pH and add the handful of micronutrients or biologicals or kind of whatever I want to hook up to that system automatically. I don't, I don't have to worry about it or test it or add something, change it. Uh, sorry, I moved my thumb. Add something, change it, add something, change it, um, and, and retest all those times. It will do it automatically. So then through the timers, I will be able to turn on my aero mixer. I will be able to turn on the circulation pump that goes between the two tanks so that I can mix two, the full 200 gallons if I want to. I will know how much to water with the data that my sensors are feeding me so I don't maybe just blindly water 400 gallons a day. I can look at the data that I'm getting and make that determination on how much I need to water. Um, that pro those probes will also tell me, and the Govi will also tell me the EC how much fertilizer I'm putting into my water, and how much EC or how much fertilizer is being retained in my pumpkin patch in three different areas at three different depths. And then with another smart timer, I will be able to kick on my irrigation so I can irrigate during, you know, late morning when everything starts to warm up a little bit. The only thing that I have to do as far as watering and fertilizing is add fertilizer to my tanks. So that will free up a whole heck of a lot of time for me to hopefully stay on top of vine burying. Um, and with the weed fabric, hopefully I will have significantly less weeds to deal with. So with the help of that technology, hopefully this year, the amount of time that I will spend worrying about the nuances of what is happening inside of the greenhouse will be significantly less compared to what it has been in the past. The pretty cool thing too is that none of this stuff was like super duper expensive. The sensors are a few hundred bucks. That's the most expensive thing. The Govi, I got that on sale. That was a few hundred bucks. That's probably the next most expensive thing. The Aero Mixer, you know, they have sales on those all the time. The smart plugs, those are relatively inexpensive. Those are Amazon specials. Um, so, you know, we'll say for about, I don't know, a thousand bucks, probably, probably less. Um, definitely less. Uh, that free time that I will gain back, hopefully, from that outlay will, will far outweigh the amount of uh, financial stress that that caused in, uh, in free time that I get back and time with the kids and time with the family and all that stuff or when I'm out of town because ultimately you, know, you still travel a lot, even in season. So that's enough of that. That's technology. I'll let you know how it goes. If you have questions, comment below. I'll get to them. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.